Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to talk about Game, Pri or Game Pass and why they need to raise the price of Game Pass and how they need to go about doing that. Uh, we all know that Game Pass has been around for a while. The, there, there's no way that prices can realistically stay where they're at for a very long time, but they need to do this in a smart way that um will 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 give will will give you the most bang for your buck there should be in my opinion there should be three tiers you should have your indie tier your double a tier and your triple a tier and every tier should still receive xbox first party games day and date that there should be the promise going forward now when you get your indie tier you know for for like 14.99 your double A tier for for like nineteen ninety nine and your triple A tier for twenty four ninety nine. You should and and all of these should come with the uh, the new family plan the new family plan. You should be able to have five different devices on one family plan subscription and it should be fourteen ninety nine for indie games, um, fifteen or nineteen ninety nine for double A games, and then the twenty four ninety nine for triple A games. And, and all the rest of it. So three separate tiers that would give you, and they need to get rid of gold. Gold has to go. It has to just be done, gone. Uh, nobody should have to pay to, to play their games online. And that's coming from being on the PC and not being able to, not having to pay for that. Like it feels really good and I can play whatever I want, whenever I want with anybody I want. Like that's cool. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a little while. Don't, don't think that this is just some, something that I'm just like, oh yeah, he's just, no, man, this this is true because I want, just like you do, we want a better steady flow of AAA games on our Game Pass subscription. And the only way to get that is to pay for it. And that's going to cost us a little more. We're going to have to pay you that, that $24.99 a month. Think about it. Every game that came out, aside from what, Callisto Protocol and... Yeah, Callisto Protocol, all of them went to $40. All Every single one of them went to $41.99 and under right around the holidays. It didn't matter how long how long ago they came out. You had Sonic Frontiers. You had Need for Speed Unbound. You had basically literally every, Gotham Knights. Everything that came out within the last six months went $41.99 under, under the $70 price tag that they came out at. <clears throat> that's why I think it is imperative that Xbox get out in front of this right freaking now, get rid of gold, like completely just get rid of it. Say, Hey guys, online gaming is free for everybody. Online gaming is free for everybody. We're going to do three tier classes. We're going to do, and they're, and they're going to be family plan. You can have five, five different consoles on each plan at the same time. Uh, for the, for the Indies, double A and triple A, but then they have to deliver more of that type of genre to those to those things like they have to they have to beef up game pass we waited a whole freaking year <laughs> for for xbox to to drop some you know i'm gonna say double a and indie type games from their first party studios onto game pass and then there was a there was a there was a a fairly decent size of you know triple a games and the reason why I say, hey man, raise the raise the AAA price to twenty four ninety nine a month, and then put that money into getting as many third party AAA games onto that service day and date as possible, or within the first, or within the first ninety days. Game comes out, get it into Game Pass within ninety days. I feel like that there would still more than qualify for for being a fair for being a fair value and the same with double a games and and the, and the indie games you know just focus that time that money that effort into getting those games into that service because from what i can see and from what most of the xbox community already feels is yay man we're paying this money we're we're paying for game pass we're being loyal we're 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 trying to help this system grow because it's great and we love it and we want everybody to love it and enjoy it well xbox they, they didn't come to the last show they didn't tell us anything and now they're like well i, I know there's going to be some of you guys that don't agree with me you guys want everything for the 15 dollars. okay okay we can we can keep going with game pass the way it is forever like that's fine too that's fine too but i'm telling you that there is no reason for us to pay 70 freaking dollars for these games no reason 
Look at the sales. Just look at the Christmas sales that already happened. You'll get some more around the first of the year. You'll get some every holiday. Every time a holiday rolls around, you will get a lower price on these games after they come out. Like you will, you, you will. And there's so many holidays. Like we'll have the, the what is it? The, the, the 14th of February, the holiday. You'll, you'll, you'll probably get a sell around then. Uh, you'll get a New Year's sell for sure that'll go a couple weeks after New Year's. You'll get one in February. Um, Memorial Day, you'll get a sell. Every couple of months, there's a sell. Every couple of months, there is another sell for these video games to where you can buy them for $40 and under. <clears throat> Last year, they were all $35. Now they're going to $41.99. They're, they're, they're trying to inch the price up just a little bit higher every time just to see exactly what we're willing to pay for it. And then the next sell, they'll be lower and the lower. And then they'll get to like $19 or $14 or whatever that... that they're trying to maximize their profit on the software that they're selling us. Why not put it all on game pass? If we pay $25, even if we pay $25 a month for freaking 12 months, let's see what that is. And mind you, this is for five consoles, 25 for 12 months times 12 months. That's $300. That's exactly three hundred dollars for for gaming for a whole year. Now, are you going to be able to really buy anything outside of that? I don't know, dude. Can you can you stop your can you stop your service for you know like a month or two in between? Yeah, you can definitely do that. If you if there's nothing on there you want to play, yeah, you can definitely stop that service, and uh, and and save yourself some money. Only pay for the months that you want to play those games. You, you see what I mean? Like only pay for the months that you would want to play those games. Or if you want to buy them for 70 bucks, buy them for 70 bucks, $70. How many games does it take to get to 300? Let's see. 300 divided by $70. That gives you four, four triple a bangers that you can play Four triple a $70 bangers that you'd be able to play throughout the year. If you continue to pay the 70, $70 or whatever. <clears throat> not including tax. So that's kind of the way I'm seeing it. That's kind of the way I'm looking at it. Like I think game pass is in a position to where they could pull that off, but they would have to deliver triple a games every single month. They couldn't just be like one every three months. They would have to be consistent every month, double a game every month, every, every freaking like they would have to have. And, and you know, they, they might have to have a couple because like, well, no, one double A, one triple A game a month for twenty four ninety nine to be able to play that game. That's more than sufficient considering they're seventy dollars now or sixty dollars or whatever. Uh, they they should be able to deliver that. And if it's a game you don't like that month, then you don't pay for the game pass that month, you know, and and tell you like a couple of weeks in advance so that you could stop your subscription so you're not paying for games that you don't want to play. I don't know, man. I feel like the prices are going to go up anywhere. So I, I feel like they might as well just branch out, do three different tiers, get rid of gold and make it a value that people can still buy. But yes, Xbox first party games should still be on all three tiers day and date, all three tiers, because that's that, that, that's a must. That is a must for that to even be worth. Cause say, say you're paying the 15 bucks a month. If you're getting the Xbox games and indies, whatever, man, you, you can keep paying that throughout the whole year, whatever. I mean, I have 15 bucks, 20 bucks, even with the double, with the double a games. Yeah. That would still kind of be worth keeping that subscription throughout the whole year. And even with the, the triple a games, being able to get those games and continue that throughout the year. Yeah, that would, that's why, that's why it's essential that Xbox first party games will still remain in all three tiers regardless going forward. So let me know what you think in the comments. I want to know how you feel about this. If this is something that you could possibly get behind, or if you think I'm just completely wrong and I'm, I'm just some weird X bot that, that doesn't know what he's talking about. Let me know. I want to know. I want like a real actual discussion on this because I've been thinking about this for a while. And to tell you the truth, I want game pass to make sense. And I want game pass to be able to, to, to keep, to keep everybody busy and, and give them what they want. Because for the last year, for the last couple of years, it's been pretty decent. Like game pass has been pretty decent. It's been more than worth the value, but I want it to continue to grow and bring those other games that, that we want to play that everybody wants to play. And I think they can do that at $25 a month. So 
Let me know in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.